Hi everybody, it's Honest John again now. Donald Trump says the U.S. military is depleted. Mitt Romney said the same thing when he was running for president. It is something Republicans have been saying since Obama took office. The implication is that Obama did something that was very harmful to the military. Now it is true that the Bush administration put a lot of stress on the military with its lack of planning during the Afghanistan war and the Iraq war, which by the way was completely unnecessary. But currently we have 8,400 troops in Afghanistan and about 4,000 troops in Iraq. This is putting a lot less stress on our military than when we had thousands, hundreds of thousands of troops in those countries. The sequester, which by the way was a Republican idea, cut military spending by 500 million over 10 years. That's an average of 50 million a year. And it sounds like a lot of money until you get the fact that the military budget for the military for one year is around 597 billion. And Donald Trump wants to add another 59 billion to that. Now, if you listen to Republicans, you would think that generals are standing outside strip malls with a tin cup begging for quarters. The fact is, is that the U.S. military, the U.S. spends 37% of all of the military spending in the world. In fact, we spend more than the next seven countries put together, and those seven countries are China, Russia, Saudi Arabia, the UK, India, France, and Japan. In fact, we spend billions of dollars on, on weapons the military doesn't even want. There is a, a literal, littoral combat ship which the Navy says is unreliable and a waste of money. Its hull tends to crack and it actually rusts. <laughs> you really don't want a ship that rusts when it comes in contact with water. But still, that ship costs $1.5 billion. The Navy says they don't want any, but Congress wants them to buy a whole bunch more of them. There is a new amphibious warship that also costs 1.5 million dollars that the Pentagon doesn't want. We spent 400 million for C-40 aircraft, aircraft that aren't needed. There is a billion dollars worth of National Guard equipment that they don't want. In 2015, General Ray Odiano who was the Army's Chief of Staff at the time, told Congress that they were being forced to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on tanks they didn't need. But that didn't stop Congress from making them buy more of those tanks at $180 million. We spent $2 billion on F-22 fighter jets which have never been used in Iraq and Afghanistan because they don't have very good air-to-ground combat capability. And this is just a very, very partial list. There are a lot more projects that are very costly that the U.S. taxpayer is, is paying for that the military says they don't want. And, and it wasn't just uh, uh, General Odierno who has uh, requested that the Congress stop making them buy things they don't want. The Pentagon has sent Congress that same message several times, and it always gets ignored. And the reason for that is obvious. If you're a congressman or a senator, and a weapon or some parts of it are made in your state or in your district, you want it to continue, even if it's not needed. And military contractors give a lot of money to members of Congress, especially those who chair committees or are on committees that have to do with military procurement. And to our politicians, 
defending the country is a lot less important than defending their jobs. Thanks for listening.